Long, long ago, in a beautiful, long, long ago, otters did not look like they did today. They were round and lived in Africa. One day, in a beautiful valley, otters, otter went along in some mud. When a huge elephant lumbered by and asked if he could use some smooth mud for a good mud bath. Otter rolled around and puzzled for a second and then stood straight up and said no. Otter was so furious and with elephant's big foot, he smushed Otter. When the elephant moved his foot, they, he just saw a round disc on the ground that was talking. Someone please help me, I'm as flat as a pancake. So Joey, the elephant, said to his friend, would you like to play um, tug of war with Otter? The other elephant, Joey's friend, said yes. So they grasped Otter and they pulled and they pulled until Otter was like a scarf. So then Joey's friend, he said, do you want to play baseball with Otter? So Joey said yes. And when Joey swung him, and he swung him, and he threw Otter. And Otter, Otter felt like a bird because he flew for three long days and landed in the montane mountains of Colorado Springs. And that is how we see Once long ago, oh, um, when the grasslands just had little grass, um, the Black-tailed prairie dog didn't live in a burrow. One day, a lot of kestrels came to the uh, prairie. The prairie dogs began to make fun of the puny, annoying kestrels. The kestrels got very angry and started to attack the prairie dogs. Then the Prairie dogs ran as fast as light and formed a circle to gather wood for catapults. They started to build the catapults. And once they were finished, they um, gathered ro large rocks and put them in the catapults. Um, they launched the um, rocks into the air. Then the kestrels started to brag, you can't hit us. Then the kestrels were getting pelted by the giant rocks and got even angrier and destroyed the prairie dogs' little straw homes and left. And that's why prairie dogs live in burrows. Once long ago when the smooth tall grass was just planted, the red fox looked different. He was as white as a snowflake. One, he was so happy until one day Black Bear came along and said, Want me to show you how to climb a tree? But under the tree was a ragged fire. But White Fox said, I would always want to learn how to climb a tree. White Fox said happily. So Bear went up and up and up and up until White Fox couldn't see him anymore. <clears throat> and then White Fox scurried up behind Black Bear and Black Bear and he said, hurry up, White Fox, and Red, White Fox yelled back to Black Bear, okay. So White Fox couldn't help it anymore. He went to a branch, and it was skinny and small. So he heard a crack. He fell right in the fire. He moved in circles. He ran to the lake. For, he stayed in there for one minute. Then he came out and he, he looked at his friend and he was red. So that's how we see white red fox today. Once long ago we did not see black bear as we do today. When when time was young, black bear had a rainbow fur. He would always brag to their animals of how beautiful he was. And he would he would make fun of them. The other animals at first would laugh along. They thought it was just a joke. But eventually it got hurtful. They all avoided him. One day, when he was padding out on a beautiful fine day of his den, he looked around to go see the crowd of animals. He saw them circling something. He got closer, and he saw they were commenting Wolf. Wolf had beautiful aqua fur as it glimmered in the sun. He got, instantly got jealous. That night, when all the animals had left, he decided to make up, make up something to get Wolf to lose his color. He ran up to him and said, Wolf. Wolf stood up to his paws. What, Black Bear? 
There's a fire on on the island next to the black mud pit. If you can get, I can't get across because I'm too big. And the chipmunk's trapped in a tree. Wolf, without saying anything, got to his paws and ran. After a while, he came back. His fur was black as midnight. He shook it off, but it only resulted in gray. He ran to his den, whimpering. The next day, he walked out of his den to see that they were circling another animal. It was Moose. She had beautiful indigo horns. All the animals commented her. He got jealous again. And it was such a hot day, all the animals decided to go back to their dens for a nice nap. Moose was the last one to leave. He got his, some, Bear got some sleeping berries, and when she stepped into the, to the hot, gleaming sun, she said, Here, you must be very hungry. Eat some of these raspberries. Moose couldn't decline. She knew that, these, that raspberries were her favorite. Well, at least that's what the, she thought they were. She dug her, her snout into them, but in a second later, she was asleep. He backed away into the shade and watched. The ne in the next four hours, she woke up, and her horns were so tan that they turned crusty and brown. She got she got so embarrassed that she ran off to into the deep dark of the forest. And Bear wasn't about to take any chances. He knew that Silver Fox and Golden Bird were also both be beautiful animals, and soon they would be circling them. And the next day, he had a plan. Silver Fox was walking along, minding his own business, but he was really hungry. He was looking for something to eat. Bear got a huge stack of his blackberries and put them in a pile. He said, here, Fox, have some of these. I, I, they're too many for me to eat. Fox jumped in and started eating like crazy. The red berry stained his fur. When he got out, he ran to the lake, but it was too late. His fur was red. He got, he got embarrassed and ran to his den. And then Bear got a leaf and then scooped it full of black of the black muck that's, that stained Wolf's fur and climbed to the highest branch. He waited for Golden Bird to perch below him. When she did, he poured all the paint onto her. Her beautiful golden wings turned to black, silky black. That day, that day, Red Fox and Blackbird were talking. They said that they'd both challenge him to a race. Red Fox was first. When they when the race started, bears they were even side by side. Bear pushed him to the side with his paw, and Fox ran off. Be, and Fox ran off from the embarrassment. Blackbird had an idea. She could fly really fast, but only for a short distance. She she decided that she'd have to do what she had to do. She flew ahead of Bear, but he was catching up. She quickly changed the sign. There are two, ri there are two rocky roads. She quickly sh changed the sign to the other side of the road. She flew off to the finish line while Bear flew went the other way. When he reached the mud pit, he started walloping around and looking for the, uh, for the finish line. At night, he decided that he must have won, so he ran back to see that Blackbird was being admired by the other animals. But then he looked at his fur. It was black. He, all the animals started laughing at him. He ran off to his den and fell asleep. And that's why black bears are either a cinnamon brown or black today.